Hello everyone, this is Anand Krishnan here. Today I am going to get you a very interesting story of a youngster uh, just uh, writing his 12th standard exams. His name is Aryan and uh, Aryan is in uh, Kishangar uh, uh, in Ajmer uh, city uh, uh, in Rajasthan. And uh, you know what he has done is that he has developed these miniature guns. Uh, very small miniature, I would say, gun models and out of paper, cardboard, wood, and uh, uh, you know, from all those uh, materials. And uh, he sent some uh, videos to me, it was very inspiring. And I thought, you know, it's important that we must give some attention to these emerging talents of India. So, let's straight away go to uh, Ajmer uh, city and uh, see what uh, uh, this youngster uh, has in store for us over to Ajmer. Myself Aryan Joshi and I'm a miniature artist. I, I make miniature guns out of waste material and the waste material is regular waste like paper, empty pen refills, popsicle sticks, wood, steel sheets, plastic sheets, etc. And I have been doing this work of miniature art from my 11th standard and till now I have made around 11 guns and this is the time period of 3 years. So here are some of my guns and I am going to show to you. So everyone this is my first gun. You all can identify this. A very popular gun used by Indian armed forces and many armed forces of the, girl and of the world and terrorists also, many terrorists also. So this is AK-47. The full form of AK-47 is out of made Kalashnikov. 1947. This rifle was originally designed in USSR and made by a military general called Mikhail Kalashnikov. So this is a very popular gun and a very reliable platform used by our armed forces and, and many of other countries like Bulgaria, China and Israel, India too. They have developed a clone of Kalashnikov like we have in SAS which works on the same platform 3G assault rifle and other guns. So coming to my gun, this part is wood popsicle stick. This part is also wood, popsicle stick, and this is the empty refill of a pen, steel refill. This is the magazine, magazine comes out, and the handle is also wood. The main chamber is of plastic, the side is aluminium, trigger, trigger guard, magazine release button, they all are aluminium, and the fire selector switch, it is also aluminium. And the magazine comes to the place. My second gun is Steyr SSG-69. It is a sniper rifle used by Indian Army and chambered in 5.56 into 5, sorry, 7.62 into 5 mm NATO. And the bolt of this rifle comes out and goes in. It is also made up of paper and the barrel is an empty refill of pen, steel refill and a mock suppressor. The scope is paper roll, rolling rolls of paper and painted matte black. So here is my third gun, Mossberg 508. It is a pump action shotgun chambered in 12 gauge and everyone is aware about this and every, we have seen this in movie like many actors doing stunt and showing off like doing this pump up and down. This rifle is completely made up of paper, the barrel is a ball pan refill and the magazine, the lower pipe is also paper. The trigger and trigger guard are also made up of paper. I love this gun and according to experts and my advice also, it is the best gun for home defense and self defense. So my fourth gun is FNP90. It look weird I know but it is used by a special protection group, SPG, in our country. The gun is chambered in 5.7 into 28 mm. It is, it is a special round developed by FN, a Belgium company. And this gun comes under the category of PDW, personal defense weapon. Very small in size and highly concealable. The magazine is top field system and the gun, the gun comes in bullpup category. This is the magazine and here it is a sight. And this is a mock suppressor. This is the complete gun.
and the another one is double barrel shotgun chambered in 12 kg and i i won't take a name of company specifically because this model is made by many companies and like we know beretta remington winchester and some uh, local indian companies also manufacture this and this gun is widely used by peoples hunters etc and there are two categories in double barrel shotgun over and under shotgun and side by side so this is side by side barrel and completely made up of wood this all brown color furniture is wood trigger and trigger guard are aluminium this part is also aluminium the lock and the barrel are ball point pen refill this is the barrel and this gun operates like uh, it works in break barrel action so the barrel breaks and we feed the rounds here and then again cock the barrel and this thing comes here so it is ready to shoot another one is my favorite best gun glock 17 I am making I am also making a full size model of this pistol because I love this gun and it is very reliable according to me and the safest gun after Beretta M9 A3 and Beretta M92 model so this chambered in 9 by 19 mm parabellum and the magazine this gun is completely made up of paper no metal or wood here I love this gun This is the best gun and accurate. Like, this ki is ki jitni tarif karo utni kam hai. Best gun here. And a good news for Glock lover is that Glock is coming to India and they are releasing some models in Indian uh, for Indian public also under non-prohibited bores. Another one is Smith and Wesson Model 500. Its full-size model is also called as the world's biggest revolver, chambered in 500 Smith and Wesson mag Magnum. and this gun is completely made up of paper that chrome color part is also paper and the color is getting ripped off because it's it is very old and around 3 year old pistol revolver i made it 3 years ago so this is swiss and wesson model 500 and now here it comes cold m4 even sop mode I know that many people and PUBG lovers will call it M416 that is a different one but the platform is same and this is not M416 M416 uh, the correct name is Heckler and Koch 416 they both are chambered in same round 5.56 into 45 mm NATO and the platform is AR15 so it has a retractable stock magazine and a mock suppressor and a eotech holographic sight here i have also added a vertical grip because i like like this kind of setup and it is easy to use and mostly used by indian special forces like para special forces they use it because they uh, 5.56 is a very lightweight ammo and they can carry it a number of quantity as compared to ak47 which is chambered in 7.62 to 39 mm russian it is a very heavy and a uh, bulky ammunition and whereas 5.56 into 45 mm nato it is very lightweight and can be carried in a uh, huge quantity so special forces prefer m4 and iwi tabot r21 because they all are chambered in same round and they can carry huge amount of ammunition in this caliber so it is m4 a1 sop mod and a picatinny rail is also there on the top uh front sight vertical grip eotech holographic sight so now some weapons this is gorkhali khukri i made this out of a sc uh, scrap iron scale like stainless steel scale which we use in our schools and stationary works the sheath is made up of paper and the blade is razor sharp sharp the handle is also made up of paper 
द बेस्ट वेपन यूज बाय गोरखा रेजिमेंट ऑफ इंडियन आर्मी आई लव दिस दिस इज द बेस्ट वेपन फॉर मी and here it comes m9 b unit it is inspired from m m9 b unit but doesn't look like that because it has this hole for the barrel of ak47 and other rifles i made this using the pocket clip of pilot pan it is also razor sharp and the sheath is made up of uh, straw and thread threaded by a black color thread i can use it in my ak47 like this one it is a secondary weapon used by special forces every special forces personnel carry a knife a pistol and a assault rifle so knife is the best weapon for a commando also and my best gun ever the beauty here it is it is remington s700 or we can say us army m24 sniper rifles sniper weapon system it is called sniper weapon system because it, along with a sniper rifle it comes it is it has its own accessories like a bipod and a scope a butt pad cheek rest and all these things so we call it sniper weapon system it is chambered in 5.7.62 7.62 into 51 mm nato and it is a bolt action rifle the bolt comes out and it for field strip and to load this gun bolt get inserted into the bolt assembly and push and this is the scope paper and the barrel is a steel pipe and the butt and the stock of this gun are made up of mdf sheet trigger and trigger guard are steel sheets so according to some expert it is the most accurate bolt action rifle in the world and some snipers who are like perfect in their field they can fire up to 10 rounds per minute the rate of fire is 10 rounds per minute if a sniper is good and trained i love this gun it look it look very like simple and but very dangerous it is also used by pakistan army but we don't use this gun so it is the remington s7 raid and us army m24 sniper rifle sniper weapon system and now i am working on a glock 17 it is a full scale version so here it is it is my glock 17 it is not completed the lower frame is completed and it is made up of paper you can see a recycled cardboard and the slide is about to be complete and the barrel is remaining the magazine is made it is magazine uh, i am not working on this gun because i don't have appropriate tools to start the work again because it needs some power tools and i all have is a file small file some sandpapers and some knives so after getting the some tools and material i will work on this gun because i love this and it is a full scale model you can see this glock 17 and uh, this is generation 4 i am not working on generation 5 the generation 5 is not having this finger grooves here like this one and last one is my favorite iwi tabard r21 chambered in 5.56 into 45 mm nato this is not complete it is a it is just a frame made up of paper only barrel is remaining magazine is remaining trigger is remaining gun has to be sanded into a shape and finishing everything is remaining here it is just a small overview like how i make my guns so this is tar 21 it is also not completed because i need some power tools to drill these holes and i don't have a power tool so after getting these tools and other material like paint and primer and all these things i will complete my gun so it is my last gun so thank you everyone thanks for watching all right hello aryan uh, welcome to this uh, talk 
yeah, this session. Uh, so I am Anand Krishnan. I am coming to you uh, live from Bangalore, and you are in uh, you are in Kishanagar and Ajmer, right, in Rajasthan. Yes, sir. Right. All right. So first of all, congratulations. Very proud of uh, what you are uh, capable of. Uh, very proud of whatever you have uh, done. So this is. Uh, an interview with a future gun maker am i right yes sir you are right all right so for the viewers could you please tell a little bit about you sir i am a 12th standard student and i am waiting for my computer science exam to commence okay. but cbse has spent not yet decided that the paper will be taken or not so okay i am a student so you are a student so tell me how, when did you get fascinated towards guns so from my childhood only and my maternal grandfather he was a he was in csf so he used to take me to quarter guards and okay. once he showed me a small that 9mm revolver which he service revolver which he used to get okay. so from that i started developing my interest towards guns all right have you any time uh, Fired a real gun? No, sir. I am waiting to fire. I'm I sure need you to have, fire, sir. You are very keen to fire. So uh, you have told me yes, that sir. you are you are preparing for your uh, CDS, right? Yes, sir. All right. So, uh, so uh, you know, hope you know, hoping that you will be getting into Indian Army uh, very soon and you will start serving. Thank you, sir. All right. So let's Thanks come back to guns. Meeting. So tell me. Uh, um, uh, about your, uh, you know, we have seen your video. We have seen, uh, you know, the different miniature guns what you have made. They are all yes, extremely good. Uh, there is no doubt about, uh, you know, your talent. They are really, really good. You know, it looks so, uh, so perfect. So, uh, are you basically an artist, or you know, is it a born talent, or you have a family background, or somebody doing uh, something? No, like sir, nothing. No, sir, nothing like that. Uh, my art is very horrible. I can't draw a proper thing like anything. But I start. I know. Like I, I like to do things like I like DIY work. So I developed this. I used to see the pictures of guns, and I used to think that I should have this one. And right. having a original full size gun was is prohibited in India. So I started making one. And uh, one of my classmates, he is good in art, so he encouraged me. And he th said that you sh should start making them. So that so this was the process I started making. And I don't have any kind of a background smart. Okay. It is just so, a, okay. See, please remember, so, I don't know much about guns. So okay. you are so you are the master. So you must teach me today. So let me ask you some small small doubts. How many kind of guns are there? How many kinds of guns are there? So guns basically are divided into some categories like assault rifle, rifles, handguns, and rocket launchers. So we can take them in guns also, rocket launchers. And assault rifle, you know that which the word assault means brutally killing someone. So assault rifles are made to kill someone brutally, and they have maximum rate of fire from 600 rounds per minute to 1200 rounds per minute, and they have a box loaded magazine with a maximum up to 30 rounds. Handguns, basically, they are small guns, and they are used as sidearm by a uh, person carrying them. And rifles, you all know, like big guns, and uh, used to take like sniper rifles, double barrel shotguns. They come in this category, rifles. All right. So interesting. So, uh, so what's your favorite gun among all the? You sir, know? I can't. It is a difficult question, sir. All guns are my favorite, and I don't dis discriminate between guns. Okay, you are not supposed to discriminate between guns. Okay, that is one yes, lesson sir. I learned today. All right, so don't discriminate sir, my, between guns. Yeah. My my personally favorite uh, gun is like IWI Tabor. It is a bullpup category rifle used by Para Special Forces of Indian Army, and another one is a Claren Koch P uh, PSG one. It is a semi-automatic sniper rifle. And pistols is Glock 17. I love this pistol. All right. I have heard all these names, and now I'm hearing again from somebody who is an expert. 
Interesting. So this is, uh, yes, you know, sir. this is a great conversation with a 12th standard student uh, ready to get into the next level. And uh, so my next question, Arvind, is uh, yes, sir. Uh, have you done some kind of homework or uh, research on the organizations that are involved in developing guns in India? Yes, sir. I have done the research like DRDO, Ordnance Factory Board, and uh, ARDE, they are involved in making guns in India, in government sector. In private sector, uh, recent, recently a new company came which is coming with their uh, sniper uh, sniper rifle that it is, I don't know, I did, don't remember the name. Uh, it is Saber, defense. I think. Tri yes, sir, Triple S Defense. All yes, right, sir. so I have uh, visited their office during uh, early this year, during just ahead of uh, Defexpo, amazing team, amazing youngsters. Yes, sir. Great guys. I like their designs. All right. Okay. So, uh, you know, maybe, uh, you know, that's also one career option for you in future, isn't it? Yes, sir. They if I am unable to go, if I am unable to get into army, I'll definitely go for this line. No, no, no. You will have to get into army because I would want to interview you again when you join the Indian army. No, don't say I'm unable. There should not be any word called unable in your dictionary. Not your dictionary, yes, the dictionary of any youngsters of this nation. We want all you so chaps to go and, yeah, we want all you chaps to go and chase your dreams and you know become the future, you know, warriors, become the the the, the superheroes of this nation. All right. Thank you. So sir. interesting. Thank yeah. You. So triple S defense is an option. So Aryan. Tell me something yes, that you know. You have now made these uh, small miniatures from uh, from paper, from cardboard, from small wood pieces, uh, the pen refill, and you know such stuff. So yes, sir. When can we see a little more? Uh, I would say uh, you know the real size. You know, in the sense the gun with the, the next level of gun making. In the sense. Which will look so soon you will clear. get to see. Uh, I am working on my favorite pistol, Glock 17. It okay. is a cardboard model only, but okay. uh, due to lacking lack of some tools, I am unable to make. I need some power tools, and I, all my tools are fabricated. I use some uh, strips of sandpaper, a small file, some exacto knife, uh, and a utility knife, and all these things are in my toolkit. So I need some power tool to make even small miniature guns and full size guns also. So these power tools are not available uh, in uh, in Kishan. So they are, sir. They are available. I can purchase them online, but money matters the most. Money I don't matters. Have... Money matters yes, the most, and you know, if, are they very expensive? So yes, sir. They are very expensive. They are around eleven thousand rupees, and I can't afford buying them. You can't afford buying them. I think right now you must concentrate on your studies. Yes, sir. Yes, and, sir. Studies uh, are that, most important now. And you should chase your dreams, and then I'm sure you will be. There will be one day when you will be able to chase all your dreams, buy whatever you want. Yes, right? sir. So don't get disappointed. I'm don't not disappointed, dis sir. Yeah, I'm right. waiting for the day. And uh, let us see you know, in case if in future, if need be, we will see how we can how we can support in case you know you still unable to get that kind of a support. So tell me something. What are your parents? You know, what do they do? Your father, your mother? Yes, sir. My father is a businessman. He owns a shop of electrical items, electrical supply store like uh, home fitting supplies and all fans and coolers and bulbs, all these things. And my mother is a homemaker. So why can't you ask your dad, please get some tools, you know, in the electrical shop so that, you know, so, my parents don't like this thing like I make the guns they don't like this thing because they think if some terrorist organization see them and they will call me and they will like take me with them so they are scared and they don't allow me to make these guns oh are you saying that they're scared when some uh, such organizations could come and just kidnap you and take you we won't allow you Aryan. we will we will come yes, in full force. Tarmac is a huge army of people, okay? They spread yes, across sir. the world. So we will ensure that. Tell your parents. Tell them. Yes, the, sir. I have told them. Yeah, you see, and please remember one thing now. You must chase your dreams, you know. Even my parents wanted me to become an engineer. 
and uh, they sent me for engineering. I did it for two years and then quit and changed what I like. That is writing. Yes, sir. That is why I am today chasing Aryan also because I am so passionate about youngsters like you. So Aryan, you, I think you know, uh, you know, I'm sure people who are is watching. A lot of people from DRU. A lot of uh, people from uh, you know various other government organizations who are following our program, who are following this channel. Uh, and you know, I'm sure uh, the the Triple S Defense Team and other uh, private gun manufacturers are also listening. And um, let us see, there are also uh, 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 new uh, factories that have come up already set up in India. So if yes, sir. Maybe some global giants will come and pick you up. We will never know. So keep up your interest. Come out with great models and uh, graduate them. And please remember, because these are weapons, please try to stay within the yes, framework sir. of the law. What is yes, permissible. Sir. When in doubt, please take the advice of uh, your elders. Uh, you yes, know, because at the end of the day, you are chasing a weapon dream, isn't it? So. Thank you so much, Aryan. First, focus on your studies, and we shall keep you on radar. And we shall, one day, I'm sure you will make us all of us proud. Please do convey, uh, you know, tarmac love to all the people in Ajmer city, all the people in Kishanagar, and also yes, sir, the people uh, in your home. God bless you, Aryan. Sir, I have contacted many people. Like I have even mailed Triple S Defense. So it was around six months ago. I haven't received any kind of information or reply from them. You know, I must tell you. Yes, sir. You are the person in need. Keep on knocking different doors. And yes, sir. All, and that. also, today's youngsters feel that the moment they think something, it should be done. It's not like that. It will take yes, sir, time. It will take time. It will take time. You hold on to your dream. You keep chasing. You keep knocking at the doors, and there will be one day the doors will open in front of our head. Yes, yeah? sir. All you right. are right, sir. Yeah. So, hey, you know. So I'm sure you know you will succeed one day. Thank you so much for your time, uh, and uh, you know, very proud of you, dear. You're warm welcome, sir. All right, Jayan. Jayan, sir. Okay, so that was um, uh, young Aryan with his, um, uh, you know, collection of guns, with his thoughts on gun making and with his uh, small little dreams. Let's uh, wish him all the best and uh, Tarmac talking. Uh, we'll be back with more such inspiring stories very soon. Thank you for watching this channel. Jai Hind.